Hello everyone and welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing a cute cartoon puppy, so let's get started. If you want to know how we load in our sketches and everything, I have made a separate video on how to do all that. I'll leave a link at the very top here and you can go and check that out. So let's get started. We, do, we have a canvas of 3000 by 3000 pixels and what we're going to do is we're going to load in our sketch. I'm going to hit the wrench here. I'm going to click on canvas. I'm going to put in a reference photo here. So I'm going to load in the one with the grid lines on it. And that is good. We're going to put it over here on the side. Just about like that. And the if you want the grids over here on your canvas, the same as the ones that are on the sketch here, I have made them. You can turn on your drawing guide right here under canvas, edit your drawing guide, and then the grid size right here, dial in 330, hit done. And now the grid lines over here and the grid lines over here are exactly the same. Okay, so let's get started on our sketch. I have provided you with one, two, three, four brushes. So we're going to start off our sketch with the Chemel sketch brush. All right. So let me see. We are over one, two, three, one, two, three. So about right here, we got his foot coming down. I'm just going to kind of roughly put this in so we can get the dimensions right. And then we have his foot coming out right here. Comes down into that square. Maybe a toe right there. And then coming up right here. All the way up to about right there. And then his stomach's going to be coming down about right there. Okay, that's good. We're going to... Let me do this part right here. We got this coming down. To about right there. And then his leg looks like it's right on that line. And then the foot comes up all right there. Another toe. Another toe. And about like that. Okay, and that goes up to the top there. This is going to come across. So you can just follow, follow the sketch and then kind of use the grid lines as a guide to know where everything goes. I find this way to be a little easier for beginners to put in the good dimensions of a sketch. Uh, if you have some experience already doing it, you probably don't need to do it this way. You probably could just take a look at the picture without any grid lines and put it in there. All right, and then we have back coming up right there. Tail is going to be about like that. All right, what else we got here? We're coming up for his chest. Actually, it's going to be continuing on with this line here. So, bringing that up to about right there. Okay, and then this foot will continue that. Uh, I think it stops about right there. And then goes into that. Okay. That's good, all right. And his... Looks like he has a collar, maybe. There is this collar. Okay, his back. I think his back comes up a little bit higher on that line than I've got it. But it's fine. This is just our sketch. Okay, and then the cheek. It looks like it comes around like this. And then up about right there okay and then that nose that nose line a 
looks about right. And then this will come down and then go up like that. And this will come down. Where's that tongue at? So its mouth comes down to about right here. That tongue comes out. About like that. Okay, and then mouth. That connects with that bottom portion of his cheek right there. I think that's good. And then we have another piece that comes up like that. Which is almost like on that line. Maybe like that's better. Okay, nose comes down. To about like that. And then we got a little line coming off like that. Okay, I think it's looking good. Okay, uh, this other cheek part here is going to come out like that and I think that kind of connects to that line right there okay we got his head coming up About right there. Okay, we got an ear. It's on this side of the line. Maybe like that. And then the other one. I'm going to come up to about right here. right there and then like that okay let's do his eyebrow we got one about right there and another one about right there okay let's get his eyes in like they're going right up that line right there maybe like that and then an eyeball in there and then this eye hugs this line, this grid line. There, and then another eyeball right there. All right, I think that looks good. All the proportions are correct. So that's basically the main goal of doing this sketch, is to get these proportions correct. So I think that's good. All right, next phase, let's get into our inking process. So I don't need this sketch anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. So if you hit the wrench icon and turn off the drawing, not the drawing guide, turn off the reference, but we don't need the drawing guide too, actually. We can turn that off too. All right, and let me see. Uh, what we're going to do is let's name this layer sketch. Okay, and then we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to put it under the sketch, and then we're going to take the opacity of the sketch down so we can barely see it. And then we're going to ink on top of that. Okay, so I'm going to change the brush to the Inker Streamliner. And the reason I like this brush is because it's pressure sensitive. So the harder you push, the thicker the line will get. So you can start off really e light and then push harder and then let off and you can get those thick to thin lines that are used often in cartooning okay so let's get our inking done so let me see i think i'm going to connect this mouth and i think this cheek here is the one that continues down here to the tongue. 
and then the one here in the middle is going to be all the way to the mouth. So I think what I'm going to do is do this one that touches the nose here first, from here all the way up to there. And I'm going to start thin over here, and then I'm going to get a little bit thicker as we go up to right there. So just about like that. And if you don't like it, you can just double tap it with your fingers. And do it again. So that's good. I like that. And then this one was the one I was talking about. So it's going to be connected to the part that goes down here and touches the tongue. So I'm going to have this come out like that. And then to kind of simulate that that is one line, I'm going to have it continuing out like that. Okay, let's do the, do the head part right here first. So, you can hold your pin down if you want that perfect curve, but I don't want his head to be a perfect curve. So it's going to kind of start off thin down here and it's going to bulb out here at the top. So that's kind of how I want it. All right, we'll erase that part where the ear comes down in a minute. Okay, and now this part here for the nose we're gonna start off thin and get thicker till we reach the nose there all right and then this line here we're gonna have the bottom lip is gonna be touching the tongue and then it's gonna be coming up and stopping about right there so yeah I'm gonna do that again I want to end it off with a really thin line. I might need to take my brush down a little bit more. So down to May 30. That's good. Okay, and then this line can start right there and then go up and touch right there. So just about like that. And that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's get this nose in now. Uh, it's going to be kind of a rounded upside down triangle. So I'm going to I'll start, I think, right here where that line is at. And then we're just going to go up, over, and back down. And then this line here is going to end up right there. Okay, I like it looking good. Let's do the tongue now. So just about like that, and then we can bring that up right there. Hey, I'm not sure if I like that. I'm going to erase this part right here. And we're going to do this line in the center first, and it's going to connect right there. Mm, I think that's okay. And then this one is going to... I'm going to erase a little bit more of it, actually. It's kind of thick. I'm going to bring my brush down just a little bit more. Maybe 25. Erase that again. And this is going to come up. Oops, I got an eraser still. Make sure you're in your pen. Here we go. So about like that. Okay, and then the... Bottom lips, or the top lips, going to come from here and meet right there. So just like that. And then on this side too, we're going to just come up. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, collar. About like that. Okay, let's get these ears in next. So I want to do... Something like that, and then this coming up and meeting here. 
Make sure all of your lines are closed in. Now we're going to erase this part right here. So go to your eraser tool. And if you did this ear on another layer, it would make it a little bit easier to erase. But I think I'll be okay. Just like that. Okay, and then let's go back to our brush again. And let's do this ear. I think I'll start right here. We can connect right there, and then this part like that. And then we're going to continue all the way down to we touch right there. So this little jaggy right here, and to fix him. All right, and then we have a line coming down here and a line coming down right there. So the ears are done. Okay, let's get these eyebrows in. So I'm going to go thin to thick to thin. Just like that. Okay. And eyeballs. I'm going to hold the pin down. Make sure I get that good circle. And this one over here. About like that. Okay, and then we're going to do a... Um, let me see. Do I want his eyes just blue only with no outline on it? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait on that right there. And we'll work on that later when we get into colors. Okay, let's finish this chest part here. So I want his neck coming out. I'm not touching the tongue. And I think I'm just going to have it come down and then come over right here. It's going to be part of his chest. So I'm going to come down here and come right there. That's good. Okay, and then the leg is going to come out from here. Okay, so like that. And then we're going to have three toes. One, two, and then the third one is just going to be part of the foot. Okay, that looks good. All right, so the leg, I'm going, I want this line right here to be all one line. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to come down right just like that. Okay, then over here too, same thing. One toe. Two toes. And the third one just going to be part of his foot. And it's going to do just like that. Okay, the this line and that line don't match very well. So I'm going to come down a little bit lower than that one. And it's going to touch the leg over there. So that's going to be kind of like that. Okay, and then this leg just like that. And then this color is going to be kind of a different color than his regular body, so that's going to continue right there. Okay, and then back foot here, we're going to have the same three toes. One, two, and then part of the foot. All right, and then we're gonna have a leg back here. I didn't sketch that in. I don't know why I didn't do that. I missed that for some reason. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try to sketch that in. I'm gonna go back to my pencil brush because I'm just to make sure that looks good. Maybe right here, then come down. Yeah, I think that looks much better. All right. So I sketched that onto our inking layer, which that was a mistake, but it's okay. We'll fix it. 
So I'm going to go to my Inger. I'm going to have him come down to here. Total. Just like that. All right, and then I can kind of clean this up a little bit. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that I make is to be on the wrong layer. It happens pretty frequently, actually. All right, so that foot is good. All right, let's get back to our sketch. Make sure we're on the right brush. Okay, and then his... Hind in right here is going to be like that. Make sure this looks okay. And then his back is going to be coming out about right there and meeting up with that line. Okay, and then a tail. Just like that. And I think that is going to do it for our sketch. Let's get into the next phase, which is going to be the coloring. So what you want to do is... I'm going to rename this to our line. That's going to be our line art. And we can turn our sketch off now. We don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is going to create a new layer. I'm going to drag it under the line art. Now, the line art is going to be our reference, which is going to tell uh, layer 3 where to put the colors at. So, click on line and set it to reference and then go back down here to layer 3. Um, if you want to make sure that you don't color in on the lines, you can slide it to the left and lock it. Probably a good idea, especially for me. Alright, so layer 3 right there. And then we're going to go up to our palette. And then this first color right here is basically going to be the main color of the puppy. So we're going to click on it. And then we're going to drag. And drop that in. So that, his ears. Ear right there. And then the body. Okay, uh, this foot here. Uh... We can do that back foot right now. It's going to actually be a different color because it's going to kind of be in shadow. Okay, the next will be the... Actually, I need this tiny little piece right there also. And then I think that's it. Yeah. So next we're going to do this light beige color, which is right there. Okay, that's going to be our cheeks our snout, that little piece right there under the belly, and then that part right there. And I forgot his tail, so let's click, hold down your finger on the color that you want. That's the color picker, and we'll put that tail in there. Okay, inside these ears are going to be a darker color, which is kind of going to be in shadow, so uh, I think will be this dark color right there did i do that or maybe this one i think it's that one so under your first color that we used we're going to drag and put that inside the ears all right i think that's good let's do the nose the nose is oops i didn't mean to create a new layer this reddish brown right there Drag and drop that in. Inside the mouth is going to be... Hmm. You know what? I think the nose is this dark one right here. And I think inside the mouth is that one that I put for the nose. So let's change that up. Let's choose on the dark one. Drop that on the nose. And then choose this reddish one and drop that inside the mouth. Yeah, that's better. Color is going to be blue, which is this one right here. 
and the tongue is going to be, I keep starting new clutter, and I want to do that, uh, this pink color right there. Dropped it into the tongue. Now for the eyes, we're going to make them white. So sometimes you might have to turn off your background color so you can tell if you've colored something in white. So now we're able to see it. And then once we get that in, we can, if you like the background color on, you can turn it back on. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. I didn't want to do that outline. What I want is this same blue color that we use for his collar. And maybe go to the monoline stream brush. I think we're going to have to... No, that's fine. That's fine, actually. So we're going to make a circle. With the blue. And I'm going to hold my pen down and touch it with the other finger. And it's going to make a perfect circle. Alright, what you can do is... Actually, here's a trick. Start a new layer. Just click on the plus. Let's put that circle in again. Hold your pen down. Touch it with the other finger. So like that. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate it. And then click on the arrow and bring that one over here. So then we can have both of them the same size. Alright. And then I'm going to fill those with blue. Oops. That didn't work out right, did it? Uh, Why? Uh, I think the reference is messing it up. So, go to the line art, turn off the reference, go back to the layer with the eyeball. Eh, it's still not doing it. Maybe the... Hmm. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong layer. I think that one's over there. Let me see. Yeah, turn it off, turn it back on. You can tell. Yeah, that's what it was. All right. And I don't like that. So, the... Drag it over to bring that threshold up so it won't leave those little jagged white spots in there. And then the other one is here. All right, and then we can put those on the same layer. Actually, we can put that down on the dog too. Now we're gonna go to our black and we're gonna create a pupil here in the middle. So I just hold my pen down and drag that in. And another one over here. Just like that. And our dog is colored in. All right, let's put in the shadows. So I think the easy way to do it is to create a new layer on top of your colors. Go to the blending mode. Set it to darker color. And then take the opacity down to about 20%. Uh, set your color to black. And then I like to use the Inker Streamliner. Now remember I said that back leg was going to be in shadow. So we're going to color that whole black leg. Our back leg. In. This shadow color. Just like that. And what you can do, you can set this to clipping mask, which that way will allow you to paint outside the colors. All right, so we're going to do that, and we're going to put some shadows down here on the bottom of the feet. So just kind of an arc. Just like that. And one down here, too. Okay, and if you think it's too dark or it's not dark enough, you can just go up to the blending mode and you can turn that even dark as you want. But I think about 22% looks good. Okay, and we're going to do one under the collar here. That looks good. And then maybe along the bottom of the mouth here. So maybe to there. And then... do one there maybe this whole bottom lip connected to that 
then we'll continue it along there. So something like that, and then we're gonna do this side too. All that in shadow. All right, uh, the ears we're gonna do is a little bit of shadow, so right here, and we're gonna bring that all the way down around like that. But just like that, and this side too. Maybe all the way up to right there, and then all this side. Is going to be a shadow. So just like that. Okay, what else do we got? I think I want to do this beige color around his eyes also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the color layer here. And I'm going to click on that beige color. And then... Maybe to about right there. And then it's going to color all this in. Yeah, I like that. And the same thing on the other side. Let's go around here. Oops, I got it on his nose. Let me undo that. Make sure I don't get it on his nose that time. Actually, I'm going to come up more like that. Make it a little bit more rounded. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, what else? I don't see anything else. I think that is going to do it. Actually, we can put a shadow. Go back to our shadow layer. Make sure you're on black. We'll put a shadow on the bottom of his tongue here. Just like that. All right, and if you want to do some highlights, let me show you how to do that. We'll create a new layer. And actually, we can go ahead and combine that shadow onto the body now. Now, for the highlights, you're going to change the blending mode to lighter color. And we're going to make sure we're on white instead of black. And then you can take the blending mode of that. Not as much as you took it down as much as the black one. So maybe 39, maybe. See what that looks like. And let's do a little... You know what? Eye's going to be completely white. All right, so it looks like from the shadows that I've got here, the light is coming in from top right. So we can kind of put some little accents. See there, you can even go up a little bit more than that. Maybe 54%. Yeah, that's better. Okay, maybe down the side of this face and right there, maybe on his booty right there. I think that's good. We don't need much. Definitely on his nose. Yeah, I think that's good. Now for the eye shine, what I want to do is go above everything because that's part of i know i didn't i did that on a separate color layer right didn't i but it doesn't matter uh we can go to white and then i like to use the airbrush so if you go to your airbrushing section which comes and click on soft brush kind of like the way that looks and you have to probably take this size down and just tap in there a couple times and you got eye shine. Let's change our background color to something better. About a, I like that blue, greenish blue. We just lightened up a little bit. And there we go. There's your cartoon dog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, join us every Friday for a new Procreate tutorial. All of the things that you will need to join along will be uh, in a download, a free download, which is 
be in the link in the description below is a free download, although you have the opportunity to donate a dollar or two if you find these tutorials helpful for you and you're enjoying the content and want to support the channel. With that, I will talk to you guys next week. Take care.